Okay, for number six, uh, I gave you the same graph as I gave you before for the quiz, and I'll actually go over this with you, uh, what answers I was looking for for parts A, B, and C. Um, but for the extra credit part, uh, in order for us to determine the radius of the circle, which is different than what I gave you, what was it that you guys were trying to determine on your quiz? The, the amount of force, because I gave you a mass, right? I gave you 100 grams or something like that. All right, I think this is a better question. So what I want you to do is on your quiz, or on your retooled quiz, it's not really a quiz anymore, just cross out these values, okay? This is still a time, uh, this is still the time axis, but I don't want you to uh, use the values that are given, okay? We just have a period right here like this. All right, and then we have a maximum value here, a minimum value here. And by the way, just so you can look at your quiz and, and uh, make sure you've got the right idea, where does the maximum value for tension happen when you are in a vertical circle? The maximum value, which is up here, goes here. Okay? When it's at the bottom of the circle, bottom of the circle, label it B, that happens up here. All right? And then it's inverted. Right? Because we have the least tension because at the top of the circle, gravity is contributing toward that centripetal force requirement of mv squared over r or whatever flavor we use, depending if we got period or frequency or velocity. Okay? So gravity contributes to that, to this total requirement, meaning that the tension is going to be less. Here the tension up at, when it's at the bottom, the tension is greater because as I showed in that previous example with the airplane, the the tension in the string has to not only meet this requirement, but we have to add mg to it because it also has to compensate for that amount. Okay? So b at the bottom is the greatest, and t at the top over here is the lesser force, okay, or the minimum force. And then obviously at the side, when gravity does not contribute at all in either way, doesn't work against or with the tension to contribute that uh, centripetal force uh, component or that centripetal force requirement here is where it's at the side okay and that's the average value or the one that is neither increased nor decreased by the contribution of the weight force mg okay so that's what we got for this problem right here and you still can do this part right here to find the radius of the circle as long as you don't try to use the scaled time that I gave you. So just cross that out. 